Alright, so here we are with the uncovered board. Basically what you're going to need is uh, simply two more things at this state. You're going to need some 70% or higher isopropyl alcohol. Just use regular rubbing alcohol because we want to clear all this goop off. And uh, cotton balls. Cotton balls, they work fairly nice, but uh, be sure to make sure the cotton ball is actually soaked and not cottony like this. So you don't leave any cotton residue on the CPU or GPU. So uh, I'm just going to kind of drench this in alcohol here. So give me a moment. Here we are. And uh, simply just kind of go around in circular motion to get all this goop off. So I'm just going to take this goop off. And uh, be sure that there's no goop sliding down the sides and things like that. You know, all that fun shit. Don't be afraid to really get in there because isopropyl really isn't going to, you know, hurt anything. But make sure that none of this goop is on the board. That's the most important part. You don't want any of this on the board because that is what causes the red light to go off. Heat transfer to the board of overheating. So it reads it as like overheating. So you want to get as much off as possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I will be right back. Alrighty, so now that you've cleaned off the two heat sinks um, in the same way as you cleaned off the GPU and CPU of the silver goop, I like to call it, um, uh, we're going to proceed to the next part. But before we do that, there's a little battery right here that you're going to want to remove. So take that battery out, however the fuck it comes out. Uh, I'm just going to pop it out real quick with a flathead screwdriver. So give me two seconds, and I'll have it on out of there for you. I'm gonna pop it on out. The back side. Pop it out from this side. Not this side, this side. Keep that battery someplace safe. And I just blinded you all with the battery. And there we go, there's the CPU and the GPU. And uh, this is gonna be our main focus. So, here's the board. There's the heat sink and everything. And let's go to the next station. And you're going to need your heat gun and a power supply for this. Alright, so here's the segment of the video where you're going to want to use the heat gun. So you're going to grab your heat gun right here. And uh, simply what we want to do right now is we want to preheat the board. Now preheating the board is so everything is equalized. So nothing gets overheated or things like that. So I'm just going to plug this heat gun in like so. And I'm probably going to blow the breaker in my wall. But uh, heat gun reduces heat. You want to hold the heat gun about yay high above the board, something like that. And you want to preheat the board. Now what you want to do is you don't want to leave it in one space. You want to constantly move this heat gun gradually throughout the board. And you want to do this for about five or six minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and start that now. So again, don't leave it all in the same place. Be sure to move the heat gun around. And again, we want to preheat the board. We want to get the board ready for this little sink that we're going to be doing. So you want to move this back and forth like so. You want to preheat the board. You can go ahead and feel the board, see if it's getting a little warm. You'll be able to start to smell it. And uh, that's nothing. That's probably just dust and shit, because PS3 is how often do you usually open them, right? And uh, you want to go around in a circular motion or something like that with the heat gun, hold the yay high. And uh, the most important thing is, is you want to have the board level as possible. So I'm just going to heat the board up, like so, going back and forth. Now once the board gets fairly warm, which won't be for about another like 5-10 minutes or something like that, I may even fast forward in this video for you because who likes to wait, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to heat the board up like so, get the board warm. Now, I've seen videos on YouTube where they do it from both sides and things like that, but mainly, you know, we're focusing on this side and the board, if you feel it, it does heat all the way through. So, when you pick up the board and you got, like, a certain temperature where you can feel, like, heat transferring, this is when you want to focus on the CPU and GPU. So, kind of come on down to the CPU and GPU and do circular motions and then kind of like count the 10 on each one and then move to the next one. You want to do this about maybe seven or eight times. So there's one time. One 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can feel and use it as a reference too. Four. And you want to do circular motions here. You don't want to keep the gun on a steady pace on the board because that will lead to frying something. And we definitely do not want to do that. So um, again, you can check and feel the board, make sure you're not getting it too hot. And the most important thing is constant heat. Constant heat on these, but also not constant constant, if that makes any sense. So just continuously uh, keep going around like this. You know, like priority straight. Then go back and forth like this a few times, up and down. Equalize the heat on the board again. Do what you gotta do. Do this for about five, 10 minutes, like I said. Never really put it close to the board like that or anything. Never put it that close to the board. And you can kind of lift the heat gun up and feel the GPU. And feel the CPU. When, when you get like to the point where you gotta like take your fingers off right away like that, that's when you can stop. So I'm gonna stop right about there. And uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of uh, do this over the board now to allow it to cool down properly. I'm gonna lift the heat gun off the board slightly. And again, we wanna do this properly. We wanna be very careful doing this. Again, lift the heat gun off the board. Very slowly, very slowly. Now, if you have an adjustable heat gun, that does work as well. Uh, but again, put your hand down here so you can feel the amount of heat coming off the gun. When you can have a bearable temperature of the heat gun on your hand, that's when you can turn the heat gun off. So let that sit. And now we wait. Now, be careful. Do not touch your heat gun because this part of the heat gun is going to be very hot. So be very careful with that. Don't come crying to me if you fucking touch the end of the heat gun like a dumbass. But uh, yeah, and I'm allowed to swear in this because I'm awesome. So, once you've done that, okay, nothing fried <laughs> as I'm over there smelling the board. So, you wanna let this sit and do not move the board. Do not move the board. Let this sit for about a half hour to 45 minutes. Come over and feel the temperature. If it's slightly warm at all, if these two metal plates are warm at all, the CPU or the GPU, if they're warm at all, don't touch it, let them cool completely until they're like room temperature. So we will be back, well I will be back because I'm the only fucking person that does this in Torrington. So yeah, I'll be back. We're gonna leave this here, right this for now. We have successfully heated up the GPU and CPU on the board and it has been reset, I guess you can say. So this is what we're gonna do now. We gotta take this board and we gotta reapply the um all right we gotta apply the thermal compound we gotta apply this shit all right so i'm gonna get back on my floor and i'll meet you down there with the board and everything so i'm gonna place the thermal actually i'll do the thermal compound right here so this is basically what you're gonna want to do i'm gonna take this thermal compound like so and uh this is arctic silver five this is uh it's a good grade and what you're gonna want to do is just put like a little tiny glob of this on here about that much you know, put another glob on the other one about that much about the size of a half a penny what you want you don't want anything more than that anything less and now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take like uh, something small to smooth it out something like a guitar pick or something else, whatever you can find. I'm going to use a guitar pick. Not my guitar pick, but a guitar pick. So, if you get your hands on a guitar pick, or if you fix iPods or something like that, you can use one of these. And what you're going to want to do is just kind of spread this across the board like so. So, uh, yeah, bear with me on this. And add the compound to as you need it, not as like, you know, let me put a big massive fucking glob on it and fuck it all up. So, add it as you need it. And then for the last part, I kind of like to go around in a square. And just kind of goop it all around. And you want to make sure that you don't get any down on the sides either. Because that will release, uh, or, uh, 
get you with you know the goop kind of overlaying and things like that and again it doesn't really have to be like perfect or anything as long as you got a good amount on there you should be fine just try and get it on there as best as you can so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and I'll speed up the process showing you how to do one and then I'm gonna go ahead and do this other one over here and then we're gonna go and rebuild the PS3 I would grab the one that's like more empty. Yeah. I hate that shit. You know how much this is? 60 bucks. For that cream? Yeah. Just silver in it, that's why. Mm. Alright, so now that I've applied the thermal compound to the CPU and GPU face, we're gonna go ahead and rebuild the PS3.